was not open to everybody. And I think in Taiwan it was about the same. Satisfied? More questions? Yes? Um, recently there is a big economic crisis in Europe and many countries uh, went bankrupt and need uh, other countries' help. I want you to ask uh, how does Sweden uh, face this problem? <laughs> Very wide question. Very wide question that uh, that goes more in macroeconomics than in uh, than in history and uh, and democracy. Uh, the big uh, the, the huge advantage of Switzerland is that in that case Switzerland is not a part of uh, the European Union on one side on one hand, and Switzerland as not part of the European Union was, uh, I mean, for the EU, EU acceptance of, of the euro currency is uh, facultative. It's not obligatory. But Switzerland is not part of the European Union, cannot be a member of the currency union, so uh, Switzerland has kept its, uh, of course, has uh, as an independent state its own currency, the Swiss francs, and this helps Switzerland to to overcome the crisis, uh, the, the crisis in Europe, because the crisis in Europe is more a crisis of the euro, of the currency, of the euro currency. Of course, the recession is uh, a hurt. In the, in the trade, as Switzerland, as I said, depends on 70% of its trade of the European Union. Switzerland, like Taiwan, has no uh, 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 natural resources, so everything is imported, is transformed, and re exported. And countries that have the financial difficulties uh, limit their buy, limit their, uh, their shopping. So Switzerland has still a pro uh, has you know, uh, in fact a problem uh, in the export industry. Okay, and I don't uh, I don't uh, for the for more details please ask a professor of economics. is one member of the Federal Council the precise, uh, that leads the, the, the meetings of the Federal Council and that is president of the Swiss Confederation towards abroad. And every year, there's a, uh, it's, it's a tradition, it's not written, uh, they, every member of the Federal Council will be elected as a president uh, after each other for one year. It's possible that one, person, that one uh, federal council will be elected two times or three times, but it would mean that, uh, that it stays uh, more than seven or more than 14 years in the federal council. And the uh, uh, federal councillor that, uh, that, uh, that can stay as that long, there are not many. Okay? So um, let's say that this year he, uh, he or she becomes president. So 
how many years later can she can be re-elected? How many she years? Later can she join the election? It's the not. Uh, it's not join an election or not. As I uh, mentioned, the president, uh, the federal council is elected by the parliament, and the president as well. The president as well. In uh, at the beginning of December, there is a parliament session. This parliament session, uh, the first thing they do, they make the election of the federal council and of the, uh, the president of the confederation. And uh, there is the president of the confederation who is elected, and the vice president of the confederation will be elected. And the next year, the vice president of the confederation will be elected as a president. That's just a tradition. And another will be uh, chosen as vice president. As Tumus, uh, just or is it in, uh, in English? Tumus. Okay. that there are four voting for election being held in, in a year. But in Taiwan, we tend to get all the election of voters together in case that too much votes will be annoying. So I want to know that do Switzerland people have the same problem that there are too much vote in a year that will have some bad influence on their that? Yes, sir. You're right. You're right. Swiss, uh, the Swiss citizens are annoyed. So that we usually, on such uh, such topics like the uh, how is it? Oh, sorry, the, the, those three topics I uh, I mentioned, there was a, a general participation of about thirty five percent. The 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 topic must be very uh, very strong to mobilize uh, at least fifty percent. But the Swiss people are annoyed with the, with the permanent voting. However, this might change with e-voting. This might change with e-voting that is now uh, be, uh, being major, measuring and uh, maybe as, like in Taiwan, almost everybody has got a computer, has got, uh, knows how to, to go with the computer. Uh, with the voting, maybe the participation would, uh, would increase. However, I mean, uh, if you just worry about the, uh, um, live better in the age and then uh, uh, further uh, uh, promotion of the music uh, to the youth and uh, protection of passive smoking, they are not very, very uh, interesting topics. Okay? More questions? You here, yes. And you there. It's like how, how very well the optional referendum will be held each year and are the citizens in Switzerland active or fond of political affairs and would it be like positive impact if we talk about politics uh, through just um, like chatting, like chatting, uh, normal small talk? I'm switching that so well. Okay. I'll pick your question, please. Oh, um, I mean, if, if, if it is okay if we chat about the politics uh, for like sports, or is it a good topic, or it will be kind of sensitive? Uh, 
Usually the people in Switzerland do not, uh, do not fear speaking politics. Um, okay, they are more interested in football and in, the, in our history, but uh, politics is a, is a topic as well. So you go to, uh, you, you go outside, you, the, the all the people uh, usually uh, are even uh, tough, even tough to each other talking politics. So it's not, uh, it's not a problem to talk politics in, uh, in my country. Everybody can talk about politics and uh, we have uh, different, mean, different uh, meanings. There are four main, uh, four main parties in Switzerland, four main uh, uh, dogmas. And uh, you can easily find uh, four people of each of these dogma on, uh, on the same table uh, talking politics. Everyone, of course, uh, being uh, convinced of its own uh, way, uh, of its own view. I know that uh, though Switzerland is not a member of EU, but uh, Switzerland is uh, also signed the uh, Schengen. Schengen. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, so, what is the uh, influence to with the before and after? Uh, before and after Schengen? Yes. Okay, so what is Schengen? Do you know it? I know. You know, the Schengen space is a union uh, in, the, uh, in the Europe, at the beginning, a couple of, uh, couple of uh, states of the European Union, than uh, most of state of the European Union and then so known uh, associated, uh, associated states. For instance, uh, Sweden. Sweden uh, is, a, is a member of the European Union. Finland. Here. Finland is a member of the European Union. Norway is not a member of the European Union. But Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark had before already an agreement on uh, free, uh, free movement of persons, free movement of persons of goods. So that uh, the Schengen Agreement, Switzerland, was during very long years not associated to the Schengen Agreement, so that we had, uh, we had border to one, two, three, four, five countries. We had border, we had control at the borders, we had uh, person controls, personal controls, we still have good controls because Schengen is only for the, for the people, for the persons. Uh, it has a very positive point for, uh, for Switzerland to be a member of Schengen because the, uh, the foreigner who entered the, uh, the Schengen area will be controlled there where they enter the Schengen area. And the Schengen area is um, it's very, that's Spain, Portugal, etc. That, that's almost all continental Europe. Even the Nordic countries, even Norway, who is not a member of the European Union, and Iceland, that's not a member of the European Union. Uh, it is uh, complete uh, abolition of the person controls. So, we, so for, for us in Switzerland, it has in fact opened our borders. And uh, of course it's uh, less working places, but it's easier. Because the one state responsible is the, is the one state who let enter the foreign. So, uh, as, the, uh, as example, uh, most of the people coming from Western, uh, North and Western Africa land over Paris, most of people coming from the Far East land in Frankfurt, Paris or uh, Amsterdam, uh, most of the people coming from South America land in Spain, so that uh, there is uh, less work 
and a better uh, and a better cooperation because we are also uh, obliged to cooperate in uh, in the general security of Europe. You satisfied? Not that much. Yes. Okay.